Now, when I first put this down, I goofed up. The, you have to start right. I cut little, ripped little pieces, and I put them all the way across like that, just so I could see my spacing. And you got to start right in the middle, and then the ones on the the uh, the sides here are going to be a little bit smaller with this tape. This tape comes out one. What is it? One point eight eight inches is the width of this tape. It looks good when you're done. I figured out all my spacing by ripping these little pieces, and then I measured put my tape measure across and I marked on my tape measure with a pencil so I could do it on both boards without having to keep what pieces on. An X-Acto knife makes this job easier. I'll put one of these down in the description. And these stars, I pretty much printed out four copies of this and taped them together to make the stars. And I got them, this, I got this off of a guy on the internet. I'm going to ask him if you subscribe to his channel, if he would send that to you. If you would go to his channel, subscribe, comment on his video, and ask him to send this to you, he will send it to you in an email. And hopefully you can figure out what I figured out. Took me a little while how to figure it out because he's going to send you a whole entire flag. I guess if you took that whole copy to like an Office Depot or something and printed it out real big, it would make this job a lot easier. But I measured over 17 inches and I put a little mark and I took my square. This I all figured out on my own because nobody seems to want to tell you these measurements on the internet. Cut this out. I just cut these off. I gotta do that again. I'm supposed to do M3. I am going to also, because I wondered what, I was going to try to make this star myself. So I'm going to measure this and tell you how big one of these stars are. Just in case somehow you think you can find this picture of the stars and make this up yourself. The stars from, from, this, from that point to that point are about 1 and 5 sixteenths. Yeah, about one and five sixteenths from there to there. And it looks really nice that size on this cornhole board. So that was from like that point to that point, or that point to that point, however you want to look at it. And I also, if I didn't already say this, I, I bought AC plywood. And I sanded this AC plywood, so this ended up being very smooth. So when you put your stain down, you won't get, it won't run underneath the tape. Watch the video till I start staining this. I'll show you the type of stain I use. And then also watch how I do it. So you'll see how to not get stain underneath this tape.
Now I'm overlapping this tape, but I would, don't overlap it a lot because we're going to end up using this X-Acto knife to cut through all them stars. And you got to push, you just got to be able to cut down through all that. Keep all the stars five eighths of an inch away from the edge of the board. That's just what I did. I don't know. If you want to do it a little different, you can. Measure, measure, and real measure. Because once you move one spot, could move at another spot. There, five eighths. Take a couple pieces of tape and lightly touch it. Tape it down. Alright, it's all taped down. So take your X Acto knife, start cutting out your stars. Have fun. You only gotta cut about 47 of them. These three here you don't have to cut because they're in the hole.
Now all I got to do is put a couple coats of poly on this. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Help support my channel. Thank you very much. God bless and have a great day.